Hey guys, it's Nisha with Teaching with Freckles and Grace, and I'm here with another video to help you to add text and icons to the Instagram story covers. So you will have already have purchased this item. So I'm going to go ahead and open mine. I have it in my in progress folder. So when you download this product, I have included some instructions on how to get it started, how to insert text, how to um, insert an icon, um, and then how to also upload it to your Instagram story. And my PowerPoint is acting really funky. I apologize about that. Oh, anyways, um, here is the cover. I'm kind of see what is going on with my PowerPoint. Thank you for being patient throughout this. I don't know what is going on with that thing. It did this last night, and I thought if I just restarted my computer, that it would be all good. I really think I just need to update my PowerPoint. Um, I'm working on an old one, and of course, they're forcing me to buy the $150 one. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm kind of afraid to make this full screen. Oh goodness, okay, let's see how long this takes. I'm gonna go ahead and just give you a quick run through like I do in all my videos of the product and what it looks like as soon as it decides to cooperate. There we go. Okay, so these are some examples here of what I have done on my Instagram. Um, and then this is what it looks like here, you know, when someone clicks on your Instagram page and um, they see these story covers. Um, I focused on the icon and most people do. So here is the how to use this product um, right here. Don't mind this. This won't be here when you download it. This is for me to insert this link um, into this so you can click on it if you needed to. But it does tell you to come to this video for a detailed video on how to insert icons and text. And then to insert text, if you want to do it without watching the video, you're just going to go to insert, insert text box, draw your text box and change the font as desired how to insert the icons. Those are the middle uh, like icons, the black and white icons in the middle of the cover. You're going to go to Google. You're going to do an image search for an icon that you desire. An example is computer icon black. You may also use PNG at the end of it to narrow down images with a transparent background. Save that image to your desktop, then go to insert photo, picture from file, and click on your saved image then simply position your icon how you desire. And of course, you can zoom in and zoom out and all that. And this is how you save and upload, how to save and upload to Instagram. So I recommend saving the PowerPoint presentation as a PDF, then use a program such as PDF Toolkit, and I will show you what that looks like. It is $1.99, <clears throat> excuse me, $1.99 in the App Store, and insert it to create a 300 DPI image which is better quality photos. Then send the images to your phone, go to your IG account, which is Instagram, and click on your icon to add one of the covers to your story. You're gonna repeat this process until all the covers have been added to your story. Once this step is completed under your bio, you're gonna click on the new highlight section. From here, choose your cover that you'd like and you can edit the position of the icon as well. Name your cover, repeat this process until all covers are completed. Keep in mind that the first cover that you upload will be the last cover in your highlights and enjoy. Okay, so these are the blank covers and these are the watercolor and chevron. I absolutely, they are just, oh, I love these colors. I'm really into watercolors right now. Okay, so there are 18 covers, not including this, of course. All right, so here we go. So to insert text, I'm gonna use this one because this one's like one of my favorites. This is what I, I meant. So you're going to go to insert 
text box. There you get that little A right there. Click where you want the text to go and you get this little tiny dinky box. And then you're gonna type what you um, want yours to say. So my first one, I'm just gonna say teachers speak teachers. Actually, I'm just gonna say teachers. Yeah, pay. Then I'm going to highlight that. I'm gonna move this up to the top here and increase my size. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and do this quick so I can get this all in one video. I'm just gonna do this really quick, guys. It's not gonna be perfect. Okay, so then I wanna to go to my font. And then of course you can pick whichever font you would like for the sake of the video and because my darn PowerPoint is acting up, I'm just gonna quickly pick something. And that definitely changes the size. <laughs> so teachers pay, you can move it around. I'm going to right click, copy this box, right click, paste this box, and then drag it down and just put teachers. And then what a cool little thing, you can double click this, go to align center and it will center it. And then I'm going to just right click paste again and drag this box down. And I'm just gonna put products, double click, align center. And then of course I would make this a little bit bigger. But again, you kind of want to keep it uniform as well. So it's pleasing to the eye. So teachers pay teachers products. We can even increase this size and play around with the fonts and things like that. Okay, so that's how you insert the text. The next step is to get your icon in here. And what you need to do is open up Google. and you're gonna do an image search. So I'm gonna type in an apple. So I'm just gonna say black apple icon PNG because I want that transparent background. Here's the images. And of course you're gonna get all these apple products, <laughs> but just pick an apple that you would like. I'm just gonna try this one and it has the checkered background, which signifies that it is a PNG file. So you can right click, save image as, and save it to your desktop. I don't want any extra on my desktop. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna drag this and I'm learning more things about my Mac here and come over here and it's gonna open it and paste it into here without me having to save any extra files on my Mac, which is really awesome. Okay, so this little guy, I'm gonna align center and align middle. And then from here, you can stretch it out as much as you would like. And of course, you can go back and make sure that it's centered and it's in the middle. And that's it. That's how you insert the icon. To save this product, um, you can, I mean, of course, you can have, these will all be done, or you know, you can pick and choose which ones you want done. So what you wanna do is file, save as. I'm just gonna put ID cover. I'm gonna save it to my desktop for now, and I'm gonna save it as a PDF and save. La 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 la. So how's your day going? Oh, I hope it is going wonderful. Okay, mine is going to stop. So there'll be a part two to this video. I'm so sorry. I tried to keep it into one video, but it's not. I will see you on part two on how to save this product and create a DPI image 300.